Hey everybody, this is Chris with Coalition Gaming. Today we're going to be doing a delitting of an i7-3770K. We're actually doing it on two of them. We had a double deal sort of thing going on, so we're going to go ahead and take care of that. Stay with us. So here we have the kit that we're going to be using. The thermal paste we're using is Thermal Grizzly Conductonaut. Uh, this is ultra high performance liquid metal compound. So this is some of the best. Most people use uh, cool, what was it, liquid laboratory, liquid metal, something like that. This supposedly is better than that, so we're going to give this a shot. For the actual tool that we're using, this is the Rocket Cool, I think it's the Rocket Cool 88. And we also have the Relid kit for it, so when we put the, uh, the heat spreader back on, the Relid kit will help secure it in the right position. So this is going to make doing this job really easy, and hopefully we don't break anything. All right, so here we are. We have the, the kit all right here, the processor here. We're gonna go ahead and line up the processor. And just like you would in the socket, you mount it arrow to arrow. So we're gonna just drop it in and make sure that it's flush. That's as flush as you're gonna get in here. And then we go ahead and put the lid over it. So with the lid in place, we're gonna screw in each of these thumb screws. Let's see here. And you just screw them in to where they get somewhat tight and then you back it out a little bit. You'll see right now as we, uh, as we continue down the process. Okay, so I backed them up after tightening them down finger tight and now I'm going to tighten this part. And this is gonna be the one that makes the magic happen. And we tighten this until we feel it makes contact with the CPU and it has. And now we fully tighten these thumb screws. Okay, so the moment of truth is about to happen. We're gonna take the Allen wrench and tighten it down. I should be able to feel when the IHS pops off, so I'm hoping for the best here. So I hope I didn't just break the processor, because <laughs> that was pretty loud. Okay, so moment of truth now. Go ahead and take this off. And oh, look at that. The heat spreader is loose. Oh, and I drop it right on the die. Great. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> so time to clean up and get get it ready for the liquid metal. Okay, so we got everything cleaned up. I have the conducto knot right here ready to apply, so I'm just going to go ahead and put a small drop of it and apply it. So this stuff is kind of interesting from the videos that I've seen on it, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and hopefully I don't make a mess, because it's conductive and making a mess with this would be bad. Good thing I have it masked, so I'm just going to go ahead and spread this one out because I can bring it back from here, see? Is that what T1000's made? I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so here we are with the relid kit now on the D-lid kit. We're gonna drop the heat spreader on since it just goes on from the beveled edges here. Just drops right on. We tighten it down with this one and then we leave it for the silicone to set. Then we'll be back with the results.
day two. So we're back, it's the next day. I shaved, got all cleaned up, as you can see. The deleting was a great success. Uh, the stock settings, the same exact the way that I took it out, I put it back in. So obviously delit it after that. I ran my torture test on it, which is Prime 95 blend with, an ha with a handbrake H264 encode, all, both at the same time. Uh, I, I got 10 to 11C improvement. So it dropped by 10 to 11 degrees Celsius. And it, this is gonna be more significant if you're doing something a little less demanding on the CPU like gaming which wouldn't exactly use a whole ton of CPU power, but it would still heat it up plenty. So I think that this is a great result. I went ahead and decided to overclock it a bit more after that. So I got it up to 4.7 gigahertz and I went up from 1.255 volts to 1.35 volts. And I got some great results there too. You can see in the benchmarks that uh, it's a significant improvement. I went from being behind an, a 4770K to ahead of a 4770K. And if you look at the different Cinebench single core scores of the Ryzen CPUs, this is right there w with it. So I'm right here with a modern CPU, albeit, albeit that the Ryzen's did have a weaker IPC compared to current gen Intel stuff. Whatever the case, I can still, I can still get what was saying that. <laughs> yeah, the 4.7 gigahertz temp, temps with the upped voltage ends up being basically exactly the same as it was at 4.3 gigahertz before it was delitted. So if you do anything that is CPU intensive, rendering, encoding, anything like that, then definitely you might want to look into this for a CPU that could use being delitted. Um, but if you're just gaming and you're just average using your computer, browsing, gaming, general stuff, not a whole lot of multitasking involved, or rendering, or video creation, or streaming, or anything like that, you're fine, it's nothing to worry about, but if you want to get a little hardcore with things, get the most out of your processor without spending a whole ton of money, and just make your hardware last longer, it's hard to say no to delitting, but you got to have the right tools to do it, because it makes the process so much easier, and that what, that's what the Rocket 88 delid tool did. And it's also, we also got the relid tool with it to make relidding an even easier process. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more. We always got more coming. And uh, leave a comment. Let's talk about it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. They should really have named this thing the Kraken. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs>